The Jenkins and Mar Glasgow City Sevens promised to be a great afternoon out. And none of the crowd who flocked to the Carter Queen's Park ground at Dumbreck left disappointed. There were some class acts on show, all three Scottish pro sides, as well as sales. So with added colour from Italian side CUS Torino, glorious sunshine and a wonderful setting, it was hardly surprising that the club were happy. Brian, the crowds are rolling in, the sun's come out, and uh, to top it all, the announcement, uh, Carter Queen's Park Club of the Month. Can it get much better for you? Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what next season brings, brings. but I mean, certainly this season's been a huge success for the club, you know, in the league, in the cup, and, you know, a, a great day today. Uh, looking forward to our, 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 you know, our tournament today that, uh, you know, that uh, people enjoy participating in, and we certainly come and enjoy coming to look at. And a tournament like this doesn't just happen. There's a tremendous amount of work goes on and you've got a terrific sponsorship as well. That's right. The great sponsors uh, in Jenkins and Marr uh, and we also enjoy the backing of Glasgow City Council. It takes a huge effort from the club members as all of these things do. Of course, we get that on a voluntary basis and you know it doesn't happen even in a few days of uh, tremendous effort. Uh, over the last weeks and months, You know, the, a lot goes into it. We're committed to the tournament as are our sponsors uh, and we want to see it grow. So, I mean, we're willing to put that effort in. And early on in the tournament, the Carter support had plenty of opportunity to cheer. With tries like this, the whole length of the field for John McCrossin to finish off. In the second round, Carter were to go down to the Borders professional side. CUS Torino had lost in the first round to Melrose and in the plate they were desperate to get on the board against Edinburgh Ackies and in the final minute winger Giordano Enrico went over for a try to get them on the board but by that time well the bags were packed already for the trip back to Italy. The crowd by now were enjoying the rugby, the guests were enjoying the hospitality and there are always folk that know just how to enjoy a sevens at comfy seat and a bottle of wine. The Carter hookers were making a collection and even persuaded Edinburgh coach Greg Oliver to part with 50p. And if the players get fed up stoking off each other, they could always join the kids in the bouncy castle. Into the semi-finals and up against a very sharp looking sail outfit. Glasgow started with a bang. Stevie Swindle getting that try, celebrating with his fan club. And, well, this was one Glasgow really wanted to win because they knew that if they got to the final they'd be up against either Edinburgh or the Borders. And Ian Kennedy in for a super try pursued by Selon Kuwadiwadi but to no avail. And it all finished off with AJ McFarlane gleefully diving over to give Glasgow the win that took them through to the final. Up against the border side that was weakened a bit by the fact that a lot of the players still hadn't managed to get back from Ulster. Edinburgh started off with a bang and it was Angus Martin who set it up and with that pass from Greg Laidlaw he finished it off as well. And Perfect conditions for Sevens Rugby. The ball was getting thrown about and Ben Cairns took the opportunity from right on his own line. Took the ball up to about halfway and there was Nick DeLuca in support. And the under-21 international galloped all the way for yet another try to take Edinburgh through to the final. In the plate final, Dundee High School FP beat Edinburgh Ackies to take the plate with a couple of smashing tries. And then, before the final, Bailey Stephen Doran handed over the Club of the Month award to proud Carter president, Brian Gervais. And into the final, and Edinburgh came out all guns blazing. Ben Cairns, Popping the ball out to 
Michael Pike and the big winger showing his power and pace, shrugging off a couple of tackles to go in for the first touchdown and take Edinburgh into the lead. It was only a couple of minutes later and they stretched that lead. Ball worked out first to Ben Cairns and Pike again. And then from Greg Laidlaw out to Hooker, Steve Laurie, and he was the link man to put Angus Martin scampering through for try number two. Michael Pike again it was. Splinter ball coming out the side there. He needed no second asking and outpaced AJ McFarlane to go in under the post for try number three with no reply from Glasgow. But then the home crowd did have something to cheer about. The ball worked out wide and Richard Mill it was who popped a lovely wee inside pass there for Ben Addison to go over and get Glasgow on the board. But Edinburgh were rampant. The ball out again to Ben Cairns. He was shadowed by Ian Kennedy. And Greg Laidlaw swept the ball away to Michael Pike. Took the return pass. Long ball out from Laidlaw to Angus Martin. And there was Laidlaw for the third time in the move to take that beautiful wee offload from Martin and touchdown. For try number four for Edinburgh to take them into a very comfortable half-time lead. They stretched that lead in the second half. Ben Cairns again it was, this time outpacing Ian Kennedy to go over under the posts. But Glasgow weren't to be denied. They kept at it in a pop-up ball there from... AJ McFarlane worked out to Stevie Swindle, unceremoniously knocking over Greg Laidlaw and again celebrating with the Stevie Swindle fan club on the touchline. Glasgow kept up the attack and the ball got out to Ben Addison. Cammy Taylor's pass was intercepted, but it bounced for Addison and he took full advantage. We chip forward. Over for the try, and Glasgow just with a smidgen of hope with five minutes to go that they might get back into it. But then Edinburgh sealed the game. Terrific run there by Nick DeLuca. And Ben Cairns was the man who finished off with so much space he was even at Able to ask Andy Ireland what time it was before he touched down. AJ McFarlane's quick tap penalty put Ben Addison in for a final score for Glasgow, but they'd run out of time against uh, an Edinburgh side who just had too much power and too much pace. And although Glasgow ended on the attack, Colin White who would shown a lot of promise in the afternoon, putting Ian Kennedy away. Kennedy stumbled, the ball was turned over, and Andy Ireland blew the whistle for full time, and Edinburgh retained the Glasgow City Sevens trophy, which skipper Alan MacDonald collected from Mrs Lorna Murray, along with a wee kiss of congratulation. We could not have asked for anything more. I think the rugby on the park has been fantastic. The weather has just smiled on us all afternoon. It's just been it's been one of the best days down at Carthur for, for many years and you know it, it can only get better than this. And this will put uh, the Carter Sevens on the map. Well, I was talking to the, uh, the the coach of Sale, who for the second year in a, in a row have gone out at the semi-final stage, and uh, he was saying that you know if invited next year, they would uh, they would obviously be trying to come back with a better side to win it. And I mean, we've obviously we, we've we've secured Leicester Tigers for next year to, to to come up against them. So I mean, that's just a, a testament to it's in the diary now, you know. 
and a great afternoon for everybody here, the sponsors, the club and everyone else. I just think I think the spectators have been treated to the best fiver they could have spent. You know, in the sunshine, a few beers with all your friends, uh, all of our clients have, th have thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, the stand has given us a bit of a vantage point and, uh, you know, I think the players have enjoyed it as well. I think it's been a tremendous afternoon for everybody, really. So after some memorable rugby at Carter Queen's Park, Edinburgh Gunners retain the Glasgow City 7s trophy. This is Ron Evans at Dumbrecht.